Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to season seven here in the San Jose State Dynasty. And last year, you remember, we fell just short of the national championship, losing to Notre Dame. But this year will be different. We are led by a different looking defense, but let's start on our offense. We are led by our superstar running back, Denzel Knox, who is returning after being a Heisman candidate last year, but winning the Heisman two years ago. Then we have Josh Chalevsky returning from injury. He's looking to avenge his year last year. He definitely didn't have the year we thought he would have. And then at receiver, Sammy Ball won the first 1,000 yard receiver since Ty Cottrell. So here we go, starting it out. Kicking the ball is uh, UCLA, and they are on the road. We are at home for this game, and out comes Denzel Knox, and we're just going to give him the ball. Let's see what our team does here in this first game. So we are going to kind of play this from kind of a coach mode perspective as we start out with the ball here. Four wide receivers on the field. That's actually Tyree Jordan running the option. No, we don't see that much from Tulevsky, but he's taking it and pitching it to Denzel for six yards to start out this game. Tulevsky now from the shotgun facing a little bit of a blitz throw into the sideline, and it's picked off by UCLA. And the first mistake of the game already for Tulevsky. And I don't know what he saw on that play, but UCLA takes advantage. So UCLA does start out under center this time, pitching it out to their running back. He's getting to the edge, but not getting too far, but he gets helped out on a face mask call, and that's another 15 yards. That was Tremblay on the face mask, the five-star recruit, and there's a throw out to the right side. They've got a man that's Jonathan Downing for 17 yards. So here they are in the shotgun once again. Throw across the middle. They've got a man, Darren Williams. That's three plays and a touchdown there. Andre Cook comes out, and he scores right away. So Tulevsky comes back out onto the field in the pistol formation, rolling out to the right. He's going to get rid of it. He's going to find a man, and he's going to break a tackle. Look at that. That's Josh Henderson, who is one of the lone fullbacks on the roster. That's a gain of 11. So first and 10 this time from the shotgun. Tulevsky's going to get rid of it to the right side. He's got a man. That's Mark Harrell. And a gain of 10 for him. Second and 10 this time. Daniel Dunn's in the game. He's going to give it to him, but he's no, only going to get two yards. And that is not anywhere. He's not going anywhere on that one. The defense is hounding him. So Tulevsky hasn't really opened up the playbook too much for himself. Here's another handoff this time to the right side. And Knox is going to get stopped for a one-yard gain and that's a punt so here is the junior Andre Cook uh, back out onto the field and he did uh, throw for a, inter or a touchdown on his first possession here's a handoff to the left side and his running back's got an open hole and getting down the sideline that is Adrian Smith and this is going to be a tough game for us if we can't stop him Andre Cook on a second and two, back to Adrian. He's going to run to the right side. He breaks the tackle. He's downfield now, breaking another one. And, man, we cannot stop Adrian Smith. Cook under center this time. He's going to delay handoff this time to Adrian Smith, only a gain of five on this one. Third and five under center this time. Cook is going to take a five-step drop back and throw to the left side, and that's going to be incomplete. So Tulevsky needs to score on this drive. Here's a handoff. This time, Knox up the middle. That's a gain of 10. And Knox has been running the ball well. The offensive line I thought would be the problem this year, but they're actually doing pretty well. Here's another handoff. No, it's a fake this time to Knox. And look at Tulevsky getting to the outside and using a stiff arm. That's a gain of eight. Second and six. Here is Knox behind. And he's going to get the ball on the screen pass, but he gets tackled from behind. That's a loss of one on that screen. Third and seven. This is a big conversion here. Here's another screen pass out to the right side. Knox, and he's getting tackled, and he's getting clocked. A gain of just one wide run back-to-back -back screens. Well, with the new secondary, I thought our issues might be at the cornerback position, but it seems like we're giving up a lot of balls through on the ground as uh, there's a completion out to Brandon Smith, their tight end. 
I'm still looking for the impact from the five-star recruits here. Is another handoff to the right side, and it's another first down. There's a tackle by Tremblay, but a first down for UCLA. This UCLA team has been moving the ball at will here, and here's a fake on the read option, but we're setting some pressure. He just flips it out to Adrian Smith. And wow, we were there. We were just right there. And it's a gain of one. Andre Cook isn't playing bad at quarterback for a 73 overall quarterback. And it helps that he's got the pieces around him here on a third and two. Here's some good blocking. He's going to throw to the left side. And it's going to be caught on the sideline. Brandon Smith, 16 yards and a first down. So first and 10, here's another handoff. This time Adrian Smith has another hole, breaks a tackle, nine yards. Second and one, here is Cook under center this time. Adrian Smith again, another first down. Third and goal, here is Cook under center and they're gonna pitch it out to the right. Let's get out to the edge. He throws a stiff arm, but Adrian Smith is going down and we're gonna get them to settle for a field goal. That's a nice stop, that's Mason Chubb. So Tulevsky starts out the game seven of nine for only 32 yards. Let's kind of stretch the field a little bit. Here's a handoff. This time, Daniel Dunn gets to the outside, break a tackle, get to the outside. Nice stiff arm, and he gets the face mask. Whoa, they're not going to call that? Damn. So now at the 40-yard line, another pistol formation here with a fullback right next on the left side. Oh, I didn't expect this. It's a screen pass out to Jordan Armstead. He's picking up a gain of just seven, but I'll take it. All right, the play call is a little bit better on this drive as we are moving the ball. Here's another read option. Look at Tulevsky getting to the outside, and he's getting past the 50. So we are moving the ball on this drive. Coming out four wide receivers. Another read option. Tulevsky go to the right side. He breaks the tackle, and he almost gets to the first but gets clocked. He's got to hold on to that ball. That's a gain of eight. Third and inches. We're running Denzel Knox in motion. They're sending a blitz. We're getting rid of it. It's Mark Harrell first down. Gain of six for the junior. Second and 10. We love this formation with the fullback lined up behind the guard. Here is a delayed handoff, and Denzel Knox is losing two yards. Tulevsky, five wide receiver set here on a third and 12, running Mark Harrell in motion this time. Going to fake the screen pass and throw the ball deep, and it's almost picked off. It's deflected by Wesley Kaysen. Well, we're going to line up for a very long field goal to put it to a 10-point game. Let's see if we can make this one, and the kick is up, and it's good. So 13-3. All right, come on defense. I mean, we just need one stop and we need the ball back. Let's just get this stop. Here's a handoff this time and we are stopping the run. Adrian Smith, gain of two. Andre Holiday is gonna be a starter at linebacker. I'm excited to see what he does. He's made a couple of plays in this game as Cook lines up five wide receiver set and they're gonna run this clock a little bit and it's probably a smart move. Five wide receivers set out here for UCLA, and they're going to snap the ball and throw it over the middle. Wide open, and it's a first down. So first and ten, five wide receivers set once more. Throwing over the middle, a wide open man, and it's a first down. Wayne Darby, 28 yards. Why can't we move the ball like this? I mean, UCLA is just pretty much torching this defense handoff this time. Adrian Smith breaks the tackle, gets to the outside, but he does cough it up, and we fall on it. There we go. Hayoli Managa with the hit, and Zamir Hines falls on it. Zamir Hines probably could have scooped and scored on that one as we're trying to put some points on the board. We have all three timeouts left. Here's a deep shot down the left side, and it's going to be picked off. And wow, Tulevsky, wow. Here is UCLA back out onto the field. We just forced a turnover, then for they got it right back. And here is a throw across the middle. Will Carter, their best rated tight end, maybe an All-American this season. He picks up a nice gain as they do hurry it up to the line after calling a timeout. And they're trying to get the snap off here. 44 seconds left here in the first half. Cook throws over the middle. He's going to find a man, but only for a gain of three. So they do hurry it up to the line. Can we get another sack? Here is Cook scrambling up the middle. Hit him before the first down marker, and he gets there. Come on. 
Five seconds left in the half, and they're attempting about a 60-yarder. This is like a 61-yarder, and the kick is going to be up, and it does not have the distance as we're going to try to return this one with Champagne Green, and he's not going to go anywhere. So that's how this one goes into halftime. 13-3, our offense, really, Tulevsky has just been slipping for us. We will have to come out better in the second. So Tulevsky in this first half, 9 for 14 for 45 yards and two interceptions. Just not cutting it for me. So we are going to make the switch. Putting in the five-star recruit, the number one quarterback in the nation, Joey Thompson, in the game. I want to see if this is going to pay off. I did redshirt him initially, but he did suit up for this game. And I'm going to bring him in, see what he's got. Here is another handoff this time, and we did get penetration right away, and they're getting to the outside, but that's a nice tackle by Marcus Daniels coming up. So third and eight, here is Cook. Come on, let's get some pressure. Here is some pressure up the middle. He throws to the right side and complete our first three and out of the game. Okay, it's time to have some fun and put the young guy in. The number one quarterback in the nation going into this season. Here is his first throw downfield. It's almost picked off by Charlie Wilson. And that was not a good throw. I guess that's one way to get his confidence going, get him an easy throw instead of trying downfield. Here on a third and eight, here is Thompson. He's gonna tuck it and run. He's getting up the middle and he's gonna fall forward for a first down. And he is a dual threat quarterback, and that's a gain of 11. Joey Thompson this time, he's gonna hand off to Denzel and he gets caught up with the offensive line. Man, I thought he had an open hole that time. It seemed like everybody was on the outside. Third and 11. Let's see if the young guys can find the playmakers on this offense. Here's a throw across the middle and it's seven yards, John Douglas. So we're going to attempt a 60-yarder or so. Man, uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. We hit from 51 earlier. Let's see if Davis has got it in him. Whoa, he's got a lot of leg on this one, and it's going to be good. So, wow, that one was a 60-yarder. I don't know exactly how far that was. Andre Tremblay does have five tackles in this game. He is making an impact, but not really anything you can see too much as here's a handoff up the middle, and that's another... 13-yard first down, Adrian Smith again. Second and eight. Our defensive line has not gotten into the backfield too much this game. Here's a handoff up the middle, Adrian Smith. How did he get the eight yards on that? So second and goal, Cook. He's going to throw over the middle. He's almost picked off. I don't know if that was a drop or a deflection, but it was close. Third and goal now. Here is Cook under center. Can we come up with another goal line stand? Cook this time. He's going to try to run it, and he's going to get hit, and he gets the ball across the plane barely. Let's take another look at that. Second and 10 now. Four wide receivers out there. Trips to the right side. Here's Thompson. This time he's going to tuck it and run. He's got a guy behind him, but he picks up a gain of about seven on that. Third and two, four wide receiver out there once again. Here's Thompson keeping it, get to the first down. He gets there, three yards. He almost kind of zigged and missed it. Denzel Knox has definitely not gotten the ball enough, but we do kind of have to move the ball down the field. Here's another keeper this time. Thompson somehow gets past the defender on that one as he thought Denzel had the ball that time. Here on a first and 10, Joey Thompson's moving the ball pretty nicely. Here's another throw, and he finds Sammy Baldwin, who gets laid out for seven yards. Well, if we put the ball in the end zone right now, I mean, we still got a full quarter to come back down a score. Here's another read option. This time to the right side. He's going to pick up a gain of six. Let's, let's kind of hurry this up, man. Come on. Clock's running. So now to start the fourth quarter, coming out with four wide receivers out onto the field. Sammy Baldwin in the slot. And we're going to the end zone. There's a man, touchdown, Spencer Davis. He gets in the game, 14 yards. Welcome to the Spartans there, his first career touchdown. Let's go defense, let's come up with a stop. This is a 73 overall quarterback. Here's a handoff up the middle, Adrian Smith, five yards. 
Second and five now, this time pistol formation. They're handing off to Adrian Smith. He's got a lane up the middle pass about the 45, close to the 40. Third and two now, they're running the ball here. This is a formation to run the ball. Here's Adrian Smith, a carry and a first down. Come on defense, let's make one turnover. Here is Cook, he's gonna throw to the left side. He's got a man, first down, Darren Williams. How is this guy playing like this? Third and nine play. Here is Cook under center. Come on, where is the pass rush? Here's a throw to the middle, and it's picked off, and that is going to be, is that Marcus Daniels? Marcus Daniels, the senior. Look at that play. Number 33 coming up with the clutch play on the back end of the defense. Wow, looking from Cook's eyes, it does look like this guy's going to be open, but Marcus Daniels just makes a phenomenal play on the ball and gives us the ball back. So let's see what the young guy has got. Second and 10, this time screen pass out to the right side. Why do we keep running these screens? That's a loss of two. Third and 12, four wide receivers out. Champagne Green in the slot and we hand it off to Knox and why? Third and 12, we're trusting our defense here. We just forced the interception. Come on, throw the ball. This is where those five stars have to come through for us. Adam Prince, come on, let's get in there. Third and six, under center, a drop back. They're gonna roll to the right side. Jordan Mann gets to him, and then he gets smacked by Haoli Managa. That's a nice tackle. And we're gonna have to, they're gonna have to punt that. The clock is not on our side here. Second and one. We almost second and eleven. We almost get him to jump off. And here's a handoff. This time Denzel Knox. They're looking not looking for this play, but Knox gets nine yards. It actually gets clocked on that one. Third and two now. I would not be mad at a uh, run up the middle from Knox. Here's a receiver in motion. Come on, we're waiting, wasting too much time here. And here is a handoff this time. Knox gets up the middle, runs over two defenders, and gets 10 yards. Why haven't we done this earlier? So first and 10, we are hurrying up to the line. Thompson and running another guy in motion. What are we doing? Come on, wasting so much time. Here from the shotgun, here is Thompson. He's gonna run this one, and look at he's got room. Oh, he fumbles! Oh my goodness, and come on, that's the game. Thompson could not hold on to the ball when it mattered, and he coughs this one up, and uh, that, that's frustrating. That's real frustrating, man. That's real, real frustrating. So UCLA does go on to win this game, and we have a little bit of a controversy at quarterback, and we knew we would have some type of drop-off. We, you know, are not controlling the team anymore, so we can't really influence outcomes, but this was a tough loss here at home, and does Tulevsky start, or does Joey Thompson, the five-star, start? That is going to be the question going into the next game. Yeah, just looking at the two quarterbacks, I mean, nobody really stood out. Joey Thompson did have the touchdown, didn't throw any interceptions. He didn't even get a full game of work. So I'm thinking about leaning on him next game. We'll have to see Tulevsky, Uh definitely came out flat, and we had to go to our other option. We did not give the ball to Denzel Knox enough. 11 attempts for 52 yards. I think now I'm going to switch the playbook because now that I'm not controlling what plays I'm picking, I do want to pick an offense that does suit this team better than what they already have. And nobody in the receiving game did anything. Let's just look on defense. Managa had 12 tackles. He was all over the field. Uh, Tremblay actually had a decent game, six tackles. But nobody really had a true impact on this game except maybe Managa. Uh, and Prince did have a sack in his first game. But we do get some good news going into next week. We actually give Thompson the start, and he comes through for us. 35 to 20 here at home. And just looking at our stats here, we had 417 total yards of offense. Let's just see what Thompson did. 16 for 27, 224 yards and three touchdowns. Not bad. Denzel Knox. He goes over 100 yards rushing, 54 yards for Thompson running. And let's look at receiving. Sammy Baldwin has two touchdowns. Armstead has one as well. 
And then, oh, Zamir Hines had two interceptions, so he had a huge game for us. Uh, let's just see if anybody had any sacks. So nobody had sacks, so that's it's a pretty surprising. But James Jackson Jr. leads our team and tackles this game. Jordan Mann right behind him. But then we win again. But take a look at these drives. Something weird is going on. Burns is in the game. Let's just check out our stats. And Ike Burns is our back quarterback right now. He gets in and throws two touchdowns. Is Thompson only? He started one for five. I wonder if the the AI pulled him. And look at Denzel Knox only getting eight attempts for 29 yards. But now the task gets tough as we go to the big house and play Michigan 3 and 0 Michigan and just look at them they have the number 2 rush offense we don't even have a top offense or defense we're just barely winning games let's just see how this one goes so before the start of this game i guess they must have just not Denzel Knox to get the ball enough or something because i mean they're not hurt Chris they may have been hurt for that game or something but the only injury we have right now is our right guard, Christian Leak, who we recruited last year. He was a four-star guard. We redshirted him, and now he is hurt. Broken tailbone. So that's a big loss, especially going into probably the biggest game of the season. And what does this kid have in him, this freshman? I don't know. But he wins on the road versus Michigan. So uh, let's just look at this. We go to 3-1. and one and upset the number four team in the country. Look at this total offense. I mean, neck and neck. And look at this. I mean, our third down defense was amazing. They were two for 11 on third down. I just need to see why, how we won this. How do we win this? Oh, Ike Burns is in. Wow, why is Ike Burns playing? Wow, he was sacked seven times. That's a lot of sacks. Who even scored for us then? It looks like Burns tried to run the ball, but he really couldn't. <laughs> Only getting 1.1 average there. Uh, Dunn ran for a touchdown. Knox, 60 yards. Wow, how did we win this game? I mean, we didn't really do anything. Jordan Armstead has a good game. I mean, our defense must have balled out. Let's just ch check it out. Andre Holiday had a sack, nine tackles. Luther Bridges had a sack. Uh, Prince had a sack. Mason Chubb had a half sack. I mean, I guess we just had an all-around game. Oh, it looks like Elijah Taylor got an interception. Maybe that was crucial. Let's just look on Michigan's side. Hurst, he only threw for 193. Uh, They're running back Franklin, 114. Wow, we get the upset. And that was a nationally tele televised game. So coming into next episode, we will be watching this game. And look at Kirk. Kirk is rolling with us. Wow, look at the difference in offense here. They have the number one offense in the nation. We have 108. I mean, that is the difference between the two of us. So we do have a QB controversy going into this game, though. Who do we start? Because we played Josh Tulevsky, but Joey Thompson has been impressive so far. But Ike Burns has got us two wins. But look at this. He's injured. He broke his wrist and is out for the season. So, wow, we could have used him at quarterback. He's been winning for us, but then he gets hurt. So his season is done. So that brings it down to two, Joey, Th Joey Thompson and Josh Tulevsky. And I just, right now, I can't go back to Tulevsky. I have to stick with the five-star recruit. He's already went up a couple overall already. You see he's at 76 overall and uh, his awareness is going up each game. So I'm gonna roll with him in this game and see what he's got. So that is gonna do it for this episode. We are going to watch the Penn State game next game and look at them. I mean, they just have a high power offense. Their quarterback through three games, they're only three and 0, 12 touchdowns and one interception. This is gonna be a tough game for us. And I can't wait, this is gonna be exciting and Penn State I mean look at those three victories they did play FCS so whatever but they played Northwestern and Pitt which is which are two no they're not no slouches of games so we already upset Michigan let's do it again next episode hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go